Okay, so now that I'm doing the real thing, I'm taking some of these cheaper buttons that I got, and I'm just taking the shine off of them, so that, wow, my camera doesn't want to focus. So I'm taking the shine <laughs> just off of them, so that I can paint them with some acrylic paint. I'm just going to paint them with some regular acrylic paint you can get at Michael's, Walmart, that kind of thing. And then I'm just going to cover it with some clear nail polish or clear gloss, and then they will be ready to go on my outfit. This is my version of getting something for a price that's a little more reasonable when you need 15 of them. And uh, I'm just going to make them to fit my coat because why not? I mean, they're discounted and this is easy. Here is the last step before I shellac them and I think I'm going to grab my shellac because it's easier with gel shellac than it is with nail polish because the nail polish takes forever to dry and the gel I can just put under my lamp and poof, it's done. So I think I'll do that and then my buttons will be done at least. And then it's back to sewing more interfacing to pieces. <laughs> interfacing is a very boring process when it's sewn, but it really makes coats stand out. It's awesome. So. <sighs> All right, patience, bless me. <laughs> All right, here I am, next day, been to work. <laughs> Actually, this is day four, technically, because yesterday I didn't get a whole lot done. I went to work and then I kind of just cut out a few things and then I went to bed. So, today is day four, and right now I am on to the fur. So, now I have to take this horsehair braid and I have to attach it to the fur, and in order to make sure it lays flat, I need to do some pad stitching like I did for my shoulder pads. So I have a lot to do. As my cats get involved with this, they do love to get in the way of my sewing. Anyway, uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this panel, I'm going to pad stitch it. I'm just going to loosely pad stitch it. It's just so that it kind of stays in the same place. And right now I'm going over it and I'm basting the edges down and then I'm going to zigzag these edges just because both the fur and the horsehair braid, they thread and they floof. So at this very edge, I'm going to zigzag. See the floof and the, the little bits of threading here? Well, usually I would say use a serger, but my serger is in the shop. So I'm going to zigzag stitch all the way around the whole thing. And then I'm going to do this to the bodice front the bodice back no the front is, the bodice side front and the bodice back and these two skirt panels <laughs> and then I'll show you what I'm what I've got all together <laughs> wish me luck so the reason that I am doing this for anybody who has never worked with fur is that fur slips slides wiggles drapes funny and I've got to attach dalmatian dalmatian spots <laughs> to this with little black pieces of fur. So if I don't if I don't do this, it'll shimmer and move and wiggle, kind of like a chiffon, you know, drapey flat fabrics. They'll it'll wiggle. And I don't want it to wiggle because I want it to stay where I put it when I put the spots on it. So this is going <laughs> This is the longest part of the whole thing and ignore my deep blue sea in the background. I forgot to turn it off. But bear with me. Okay, so I changed. I needed something a little warmer. Plus, I needed to make myself a thimble. This is just a couple layers of cotton folded over and sewn together so that I have a little thimble thing. But needles hurt, and I'm starting to develop kind of this little puckering on the end of my finger, and I don't think I can actually show you, but it's a little redder than all my other fingers. And I really am a sucker for pain. I already have fibro. I don't, I don't need extra. So I did this with just a couple of layers of the twill that I got for my coat. And it's actually really helpful. It already feels better. So I would suggest if you've got some denim laying around or an old pair of jeans or something, make yourself a quick thimble. Just make a seam about the same size as your finger and pucker this top part a little bit as you sew it so that it's a little bigger than the one underneath and that gives you wiggle room to get your used to this molded to your finger and you can put the the needle on this part 
instead of in your finger and it's actually quite comfortable. <laughs> I wish I thought of it a few hours ago, but I didn't, so now I'm showing you. <laughs> On to more sewing. In case you're wondering, this is very boring. Uh, what have I gotten myself into? Okay, on to step three with my buttons. I have these ones on the right here. These ones are just painted, and these ones are gelled. So they've got this gel on them. Uh, this top coat. Which, I mean, you can use any nail polish, and I could have used one that dries, but I have a lamp, and I have this, so I might as well use them because they're easier than waiting for nail polish to dry. But these are my Dalmatian buttons that I'll eventually go onto my coat. These are the two that are going to go down onto my pockets. So I'm really looking forward to this. This should be fun. Okay, so here we are. I have finished. Ooh, pardon the light. I have finished doing this. And what I did instead of regular narrow hem, I just sewed one flounce to the other with a lining. Flipped it inside out, ironed it, and stitched it around again. Then I did this. Pinned this and over there somewhere or other is the whole finished project. I'll show you later. Then I did these little loopies. And I used rayon cord, so my ends aren't exactly able to be bound. So I put a little piece of tape in there uh, just to secure them for now. And then I put that uh, mock-up fabric. I uh, just put a little envelope around it. This will do. Since I am going to be sewing this into the seam itself of this piece, and I've got to pin these to the right side, not the wrong side. Make sure to pin them to the correct side. You want to pin them to the outside so that when you sew them in, they'll stay where they're supposed to be. And when they come out, they'll look like that. Uh, so I'm just going to sew them so that the ends of the actual cord are tucked in here and it's just at even with the edges of the fabric and this little piece I'll cut off when I'm finished it's just there so that I can make sure to get this whole thing across here pinned without misplacing it because it's really hard to pin through the rayon cord so I'm gonna finish doing that and I will move on through the steps this is gonna go much faster now that I've made all the mistakes <laughs> wish me luck